Weekly Wrap is back with highlights from America's biggest horse shows. All the highlights in one place just like you've come to know. Get ready, get set for the latest Weekly Wrap from Clip My Horse. The fifth week of the Winter Spectacular saw continued hunter and jumper action from the picturesque venue that is the World Equestrian Center, Ocala. Kristen Vanderveen put on quite the show to start the week, flying to victory in the Welcome Prix aboard Bull Run's Divine Fortune. Clear rounds were hard to come by in the class, and by the end of the first round, just two combinations had advanced to the jump off. Over the shortened course, Vanderveen and her mount were impossible to catch. Crossing the timers nearly five seconds ahead of the runners-up, Vanderveen called the round some of the most fun she'd had in a long time. Derby Friday was held in a new location this week, taking place in the main Hunter Arena instead of the expansive stadium venue. In the 3'6 to 3'9 Weck Hunter Derby, David Jennings and Jordan Tinas were the only combination to receive scores in the 90s, placing them well ahead of the pack for the victory. In the Weck Open 3-foot Derby, Dory Douglas and MTM Dashing took the win. Douglas has worked with the rising 7-year-old for the past three years. An impressive score of 91 in the handy round catapulted the pair to the top of the class. Christopher Coberly continued his dominance of the WEC 3-foot non-pro derby. Coberly bookended the podium, taking the win aboard Actender PS. Receiving marks in the 90s in both rounds, the pair won with style and consistency. Christina Kelly and her own kingdom recorded their second Futures pre-victory of the season at WEC. A big stride and strong gallop were undoubtedly contributing factors to the win. The pair crossed the timers nearly two seconds faster than the runners-up. Just four combinations advanced to the jump-off in the week's feature, the WEC Grand Prix. Katie Abrahamson and Any came out on top. The combination only recently cemented their partnership, with Abrahamson buying the mare just a week ago. Abrahamson said the move proved to be the perfect decision. results from around the country.